Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for joining today's session. Thank you, Carlos, Azalia, Mayra, Jansi, and Jorge. Thank you. Welcome, all of you. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Excellent. People, how are you? Good evening. How is everything? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, guys, how are you? Teacher, where are everyone? <laughs> yeah, where is everyone? Where is everyone? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It is Friday. That's why. It's viernes. It's viernes. It is Friday. They are, they are, maybe, yeah, maybe yes, they are that. celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Maybe. maybe they are, <laughs> it is possible, you never know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right. How was your day? ¿Cómo les fue ahora a todos? How was your day? Uh, my case it was... Uh... Uh, I'm fine. Uh, uh, I have a, a, a lot of a lot of work mm -hmm. in, in, in the channel. In the, in, 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 more than more, the, más que todo. How do you say in English? But what 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 in what context? Uh, más que todo en la mañana, por decir esto. You say most of the morning, most of uh, the morning. Uh, can you write in the yes. most of, okay, the most of the morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. It was, uh, it was fine. Well. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. All right. Yes. Welcome, Denise. Thank you. For being here. Yes. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, people. Uh, there are only six of you. Six of you, and uh, well, let me see. We can start here, or we can start here. We got many choices, many options. Yes. All right. Let me let me take attendance before we begin. Before we begin, I'm going to take attendance. I know everybody is not here, but it is time to take it. Today is Friday 14th. Wow. It's all right. This person, Ana Victoria Galán, is not here. Asalia Melanie Portillo. Brian David Ramirez, I think not. Present teacher. Thank you, Azalia. No me dejaba. Yes. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Here, Thank you, Carlos Eliezer Dimas. No. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Thank you, Diana Amilet Maravilla. Edith Adilia Hernández. No, Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Sara Rachel Salazar. And uh, Jancy Andrea Solortano. Present teacher. Okay. Yes. Así toca, viejo, a veces. 
wait. All right. Okay, we got Sarah, we got Anna, and uh, Carlos. Thank you, people. Hey, yo. let me, hi, hi. Let me update. Anna, yes, thank you. We got Carlos Eliezer. I'm here, teacher. Yes, thank you, Carlos. And you must. Ah, Sarah. Okay, people, we're going to start and uh, we always start with the review. Can you tell me, can you tell me what we were practicing yesterday? We were practicing a very specific structure. Do you remember that structure? Do you remember the structure? I think we studied um, yeah. the, the, the B, uh, the B form and the past, but uh, did, did, okay. uh, did and, uh, in the negative form, didn't, it's correct or I ground? It, it is correct. You're, you're right. Don't worry. Okay. okay. I'm going to I'm going to be sending I'm going to be sending some items to the Zoom chat, and you're going to tell me if that is correct or not. Okay. For example, the first one. Uh, this is a review. Okay. The first the first item I sent to the chat is we use D for negatives. Is that correct or not? We use did for negatives. Yes. Hello. We use did for negatives? Yes, yes. No. I think no. Didn't. No. We use did. We use did. Yes. Did is that. Did it pass it? In past, but not uh, negative. Okay, in past, world, but not negative. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me tell you this. Uh, did, did is the auxiliary that represents past or the simple past. Yes. But we only use did, we only use did in negatives and in questions. But did in the negative form goes with not did not okay did not did not is for the negatives did, did not did is for did, questions did did not or did it uh -huh, exactly did, did not or did, did not it. or did it. yes exactly exactly yes Okay, I just shared another item. We use didn't with all subjects. What do you think about that item? Is that true or false? We use didn't with all subjects. The first. No, it says it says we use didn't we use didn't with all subjects. It's true. It's subject later. Is yes, it's true. Okay. I understand. It is, it is true. It I is didn't. True. I didn't. You didn't. She didn't. Exactly. Exactly. What about that one? The past form remains the same even if we are using did. What do you think about that one? The past form remains the same even if we are using did. What is remains? Remains is a verb. It's a verb. Pero que significa? What does it mean? Do you know? Permanecer. Remain, permanecer. Okay. 
The past form remains. Hello. Is that true or false? Is that correct or not? Uh, it's correct. <laughs> no. No, it's false. false. Okay, it is false. false. And what is the yes. correct? Uh, we did use the bear in with base form. Exactly, exactly, yes. We did, we use the verb in the base form. Okay, so the past, the past of the verb only goes when we're using affirmative sentences. For questions and negatives, we use did. Well, did not for negatives and did for questions. And the verb, the structure of the verb is in the base form when we use did. Take a look at the other item. All verbs take ed in the past form. All verbs take ed in the past form. Form. Yes. It's false. It is yeah. false. Okay. Why? Why is it false? Because. Uh, because X is okay. uh, two. Because X is too far. The verb, for example, irregular and irregular and regular and irregular. Yes, exactly. It's because we have two different types of verbs, regular and irregular verbs. Okay, they are, or they belong, they belong to different categories. Yes. All right. Very good. Let's continue. Let me show you, let me show you the structure of a question. I'm going to make a question step by step in the chat. I just shared, did. Did is the first thing that we use to make a question. The next thing or the following thing that we need is you or the person. Did you, okay, did you. Now we need the verb. We need a verb. Did you study, pongamos, study. Did you study for the presentation? Okay, y así es la estructura de pregunta de sí y no. The just no question structure, did you study for the presentation? You can change the person, yes, you can change the person. You can even change the complement. For example, did she, did she study for the exams? Did we, did we study for uh, our thesis, etc. Okay. Así es como va la pregunta, and that's what we are going to do right now. We're going to practice just no questions. Just no questions. This is class number 14. Yes, it's Friday, people. Finally, we need to celebrate. Es viernes, es viernes. Por fin, por fin. Después de tres, después de tres semanas, llegó viernes. Okay. I'm happy. Very, very. <laughs> yes. Mire, que ese sábado domingo pasan volando, pasan muy rápido, ¿eh? no es posible eso, no es posible. Yes, it's awful. <laughs> me descuido ya el domingo, me descuido ya el domingo, sí, sí, rapidito, no puede ser. <laughs> not good, not good. All right, yes. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's practice simple past. Answer the question the teacher asks you and continue with the classmate. I'm going to ask you people questions for a few minutes and then I'm going to choose a person to continue asking everybody else. Okay, and look, there's a question. Did, did I drink anything this morning? Okay, yes, I, I drank water and uh, yeah, only water. My example, my example, my questions for you guys are, Sandra, ready? Did you drink enough water today? Uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember, teacher. Sorry? I don't remember. Let me remember. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. 
I I drank. Drank. I drank. I drank. Uh, one liter. That's not enough. <laughs> That's not enough. That's too I weird. don't remember, teacher. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. But you answer the question. Let me continue. Ismael. Hi. Did you text a friend today? Uh, not today. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Sad. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All right. Mayra. Hello. Did you see did you see your boss today? Yes, I did. Oh, I'm always. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> always. <lady. laughs> okay, okay. Muy bien, muy bien. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Hi. <laughs> did you have lunch? Yes, I did. All right. What did you have? What? What did you have? Ah, I... Uh, can you repeat the, the question, please? Yes, what, what did you have? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> no. I, I ate... Uh, I ate... Um, uh, a little egg and beans. And let me see, um, uh, tamales, biscuits. Delicious. Delicious. Yes. yes, excellent, yes. excellent. Yes, I know. In the <laughs> morning. Right. In the morning, all right, yes. all right. It's, it's okay, fine. Excellent, Sara, hello. Hello, hello. Did you call your mother today? Ah, uh, no, I call, don't. Did you call your mother today? I call. I call. Did you call your mother today? I don't understand. Call. Call your Did mother. It. Ah. I call my mom. Did you call your mom today? Today. Yes. <laughs> Do you understand I call? the question? I, I don't. I call. Ajá. Es que si llamamos, llamamos a mamá. Ahora. Did no. You call, did you call your mom today? No, I don't. No, I don't. ¿Cómo está? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> okay. No, I, why not? Call her. <laughs> my yes. mom is my... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice vecino? Home. home. Uh, neighbor. Nah. Hey, neighbor, neighbor. Excellent. Yes, it's my Amazing. neighbor, my mom. Okay, excellent. Now, it's your turn to continue. Sara, continue. Ask Melanie. Uh, Anything, me any question, okay? Any verb? Any question. Yes. Melanie? Yes. Um, you, no, do you? Did you? Did you uh, go today? Work. Work today. No, war, war, war. Work. Work. Uh -huh. Today. Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. Melanie, continue and ask Diana. Any question, any person, any verb? Diana? Hello? Did you go? Did you cook? Yes, I did. Did you? Yeah, uh, yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. I did you cook I the cooked. dinner? I cooked the dinner, yes. All right, excellent, excellent. Gana, continue, please. Thank you, thank you. Continue with uh, Denise. Ask her whatever question you want. Okay. Hello, Denise. Hi. Hi, Denise. Um, did you um a verb uh, today? Mm -hmm. The verb, but the verb. 
The verb is missing. Okay. Did you, did you, y luego el verbo. Okay. Did you um, ate, ate the, bur the breakfast today? Eat. Eat. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yana. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Let me share something with you. En el chat les he colocado una pregunta que es mucho más común, que es mucho más común que decir Did you eat breakfast or did you eat lunch or did you eat dinner? Okay. It's, it's easier or it's, it's uh, more common to say did you have breakfast, did you have lunch or did you have dinner? Have, have can be in Spanish eat or drink. You can say, for example, I had... I had pupusas, comí pupusas, or I had a cup of coffee, bebí una taza de café. Yes. Okay. It's, it's more common, it's more common to ask, did you have, and not did you eat? But it's yes, correct uh, to say uh, did you eat. But it's just, it's just uh, for food, right? Yeah, it's, it's when you're asking something general. Like, did you have lunch? Como, lunch, almuerzo. Did you have lunch? If I want to ask something specific, I use eat. Hey, did you eat fish? Fish. Did you eat fish? Fish. Specific. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Denise, continue, Denise. Ask Jorge. Okay. Jorge? Did you take a shower today? Oh, we don't know. Hello. No, I didn't. Mm. <laughs> On Friday, I don't. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I support me neither, you. I support me neither. Me <laughs> neither. I'm with you. I'm with you. Me too. I didn't take a shower yes. today. <laughs> it's Friday, people. One time. <laughs> a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, Denise, Jorge, continue. Ask Mayra. Hello, Mayra. Hello, George. Did you did you have a good day today? Yes, I did. Wow, excellent. It yes, is I a Friday. <laughs> Perfect day. All right. Might I continue? Uh, please ask Mr. Soriano. Carlos, yes. Okay. Okay. Carlos, did you drink uh, coffee today? Um, no, I didn't. I don't like the coffee. Oh, sorry. Carlos. <laughs> It's normal. Did you? <laughs> it's normal. Drink coffee every day. <laughs> dijo, dijo, it's normal. You... It is normal. <laughs> uh, Mayra, can you repeat the question? Mayra, can you repeat did, the question? Did, did you drink coffee today? Okay, yes. Did you drink coffee today? Yes, okay. Thank you, thank you. Carlos, continue. Ask Sandra, please. Um, Sandra, did you um, listen to music today? No, I didn't. Impossible. Yes, Impossible. teacher, today. Impossible, I did. Sandra. Today, how do you say falle, teacher? I failed. I failed, teacher. Fail, lo ponen en el chat. Uy, espérame. Fail, el verbo, ahí está. Pasado, fail. Fail. Es fallar I... o fracasar. Fail. I failed. Yes, you did. Fail. Yes, yes, you yes, did. What is the difference? The fail or the file? Which one? Impact. Filed. Impact. Ah, fail, failed. 
con de... caer, fallar. Ambas son lo mismo. El, el fail está presente, que es fallar o fracasar. Y failed con la ED, pasado fracasé o fallé. All right. For example, I, I failed in the romantic dinner with my... Yes. But yes. yeah, I, fa <laughs> I failed on. Se usa con when. On. Oh, okay. okay. I failed when. Ah, okay. I failed okay. on the exams. I failed on the presentation. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Sandra. Yeah, Sandra. Yeah, you're next, right? Or, yeah. Yes. Sandra, ask Edith. Did did you eat your breakfast today? Did, did you have? Did you have breakfast? Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. You said, did you have breakfast, right? Super, I mean, I when you eat uh, the dinner or lunch? Yes. Yes. Do you use the the verb have? I think I think it's better to use the verb have. Like, did you have breakfast? Do you have lunch? Or did you have dinner? Or yes. I'm going to have I'm going to have. Make. Listen to this. I'm going to have a hamburger for dinner. I'm going to have fish for uh lunch. Y la palabra desayuno se dice break. Break fast. Break. No, no es break. El verbo sí es break. break. Pero ahí, como está unido con otra palabra, es With. Break, breakfast. With the. Breakfast. Break. Bread. ¿Saben, ¿Saben qué es fast? Fast. Rápido. Como verbo. Fast. Rápido. Fast. No, hasta okay. verb. Como verbo. No. Okay, significa ayunar. Ayudar? No, a ayunar, no comer. Ayunar. Ah. You, you don't eat. Y aquí dice breakfast, como romper el ayuno. Ah. Sentido, Te voy a mandar el sentido. Ah. 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 Wow. Wow. Ah. Wow. 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 It's amazing. <laughs> Sandra, you are an influencer. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Right. We're going to continue. Thank you. Edith, continue and please ask Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria. Yes. Ana. Did you, hi. Did you watch TV every day? Every mm -hmm. night. Did you did you watch TV? Very nice. No, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay. I did, did you watch did you watch TV every night? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, yes. Yes. Continue and finish with Jancy. Anna. Okay. Jancy, did you cook the dinner today? Yes, yes, listen. <laughs> Dancing. Okay, I think she's not there. She's not there. No está ahí. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, ask me, Anna. Teacher, did, did you have a meeting today? A meeting? No, no, I didn't. I didn't have a meeting today. Yes. I had I had a very easy day. I only worked, believe me, people, I only worked from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Three hours. Yes, very easy day. That's it. Okay, people, thank you for the practice. We're going to continue. And the next thing that we're going to do is go to the book and work on page number 35. On page number 35, you're gonna see this information. 
and we're still working on unit number three, customer service. We're going to finish, we're going to finish this unit on Monday. Yes. On Monday, we're done with unit three. All right. It says here that we will be able to ask customers details about a problem they had to provide a solution to. And then number one, let's begin. Brainstorm about further questions. You ask customers to get more information about a problem they had. Brainstorm about further questions. You you ask customers to get more information about a, a problem they have. Yesterday we mentioned we mentioned a few questions we normally ask when we want to know information or confirm information that we know. People, can you mention uh, further questions or more questions? Do you know what further is? Further. I don't know. What the no? You know what far is? Far. Far? Lejos. <laughs> yes. So the comparative, the comparative form is further. Ahí está, ahí lo puse. And that means, that means uh, más, más profundo. Más profundo, más lejano, más profundo, o más amplio, más extenso, más complejo. That's what it Arthur. means. Further. Do you yes. refer? Okay. It, it refers to when you're adding, when you're adding extra information. Yes. Okay. It's like como, como, crea, crea ideas acerca de preguntas más profundas que le haces a los, a los, a los clientes para conseguir información Sobre un problema que tiene. That is the question. Further, yes. All right. What can you tell me, guys? ¿Qué me pueden decir ustedes? About this, this item, number one. Tell me. Hello. Tell me. I think about the... Um... People, what can be some questions or some further questions we ask to get information about problem they had? Maybe to describe the issue or the problem. Describe. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. What else? What else? For example, teacher, how much time did we those uh, those day? Do they how have the time? problem? What? How much time? What do you say? Sorry. Uh, how much time they have the problem? Oh. Okay. How long? How long they had oh, the problem? Oh yes, uh -huh. this is correct. How long? how long how they long have they the had the problem okay we'll be like how long have you had the problem yes okay what else what else what other questions you can ask what other questions can you ask okay it's okay it's fine we're going to practice those questions later on. Yes. Now, the second part is about a, uh, an email, a very short email. It says that read the following email about a customer's problem to PeterT at gmail, the J, jmail.com. Subject, complaint about a trip. People, what is a complaint? I remember I told you about this word, complaint. What is it? Do you remember? Yeah. It's compromised. Mm, no. I don't remember. It's, 
it's when you are when you are disappointed about a product you have bought and you go back to the company and you give these people bad comments or you go to the company and you're angry and you complain about the product in this case in this case is it is the it's a noun complain means queja complaints queja yes if you remove if you remove the t and you say complain yes. eso es quejar reclamo como reclamo algo así exactly exactly reclamar queja quejarse reclamar yes etc okay from hazer that are at jmail.com let me read it to you guys last week i had the chance to travel with your company to another country but to be honest with you it was a bad experience because the boss you assigned me you assigned me in didn't have a seat it was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience, inconvenience I had. Okay, inconvenience. Inconvenient? Maybe inconvenient, not inconvenience. Okay, questions about this. Questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. I I think it's convenient. Not with C E. It's contact with not convenient. Inconvenient. Yeah, it's not inconvenient there. All right. Let me choose a few people. Let me choose three or three people to read it to practice. You have to read you have to read everything from the preposition to to the verb had. All right. Let me choose a person. Edith, Adilia, can you please read the, the email? I will never try. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, for, from que lea me digo. Yes. Perdón. Yes, the preposition mm -hmm. from from the preposition to. Ah, to to Peter to Peter. Ar, no sé cómo se dice arroba. Oh, that would be at. Probably at gmail.com. Suje, complain about a treat. From Kaiser. Point. Dot. 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 Gmail.com. Gmail.com. That com. That. Gmail.com. That. Last week I had the chance to travel with your company to another country, but to be honest with 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 you with you, mm -hmm. it was our experience because the bus that you assigned, assigned me, I didn't, I had a, a seat. Mm -hmm. It was, it was a long trip and her bus was very, very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because on the inconvenience I had. Okay, because of the inconvenience I have. Thank you for that. Oh, uh, here, vamos a ver por acá. Oh, honest. Honest. The H, the H is silent. La H es muda. In, in, in this word. And this word is oh, honest. Experience. All right. Thank you, Edith, for reading. Excellent. 
Diana, read, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the the arroba, the arroba. It's at, at, the preposition at. So así se dice arroba. Y el puntito se dice dot. 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 Yes. We we also have period and point. Um, period is a different different case. And point is a different case. Que es punto también. Es punto y punto. But uh, for emails, for emails is dot. Okay, para correos o computación es dot. All right. Yes. Continue, Diana, or start. Okay, teacher. To pick this uh, at in gmail.com. Dot com. Dot <laughs> com. That can come to get complain about a three from house on uh, at gmail.com. Last week I had a chance to travel with your company to another country. Vital be honest with you is was a bad experience. Because the boat that you are seeing me in the uh, garden, I had I had a a bit point. It was a long trip, and the bus ride was very slow. I am considering not traveling. Why do again the boat? Or the inconvenience I had. Okay, thank you, Diana, for reading. Thank you for reading. Let me choose one more person. That person is Mr. No, Sarah. Sarah, read, please. Hello. Read, read the email. Uh, last week, I had the shout to travel with your company. Uh, to another country, but to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the boss that you assigned me uh, in didn't have a AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very long. I am considered, considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, thank you, Sarah, for reading people. Thank you all of you for reading and listening. Now we're going to go down here to part three. There are three questions on part number three. And uh, the indication says, ask a different partner these questions and write the answers. Let's go. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna give you two minutes, people. Two minutes, answer the question, the three questions, yes. The questions are about are about the email. Let me see if I can show you the email and uh, the questions as well. Yes. Let's see. Okay, here you go. You got the questions and the email. Yes. Just in case you want to see, you can you want to go up to see what's going on. Question number three, it says, what did the passenger send that email? What is not correct? Change that question to why. Why did the passenger send that email? Okay. Yes. Because it doesn't make any sense if you use what. Yes. 
maybe if you er erase that email, what did the passenger send? But since we have that email, what is not necessary there? Hello, Brian. Welcome, Brian. Welcome, welcome. And welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you, teacher. Lo siento por conectarme super tarde, pero no tenía datos y no tenía señal. Así. Ahorita <laughs> logré conseguir. Right? It was impossible. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, sorry. Yes, it's okay. Thank you, Brian. Okay, let's let's uh, see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me make this bigger. There we go. Where did the passenger go? That's the first question. Where did the passenger go? Uh, the passenger. Uh, the passenger went to the other country. Okay. The passenger went to another. Country. Another country. Another country. People, another is para una cosa. Other is para dos o más. All right. Yes. Another country. Thank Repeat, you. Repeat, please. Teacher, sorry. Repeat. Another, another. Is for, another is for another is for two or more. One, one. Thing. Ah, one another. another. Other is. Or ah, more. Okay. Okay, I got it, thank you. Yes, question number two. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Example. Tell me, why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Because it, because yes. it was a bad experience. Because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have any seat. Okay, because because the bus he was assigned to uh, didn't have AC. It didn't have AC. What else? What else can you say? Uh, the bus, uh, the bus didn't uh, very slow. Uh -huh, exactly. That's another 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 uh, another thing to take into consideration was the bus was very slow, okay? Yes. The bus didn't have AC and the bus was very slow. That's Question number three, why did the passenger send that email? One complaint, teacher. Okay, to complain about his or her trip, okay? Fantastic, people. Thank you for your participation. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay, let's continue then. Uh, on Tuesday, we practiced or we studied the simple past affirmative sentences. The next day, Wednesday, we studied the simple past negative statements. Yesterday, we studied simple past, just no questions. Today, we continue talking about simple past but this time it's with WH questions, okay? With WH questions. Hey guys, before we take a look at the WH questions, can you, can you say them? Can you mention the WH questions that you know? Why? Where? What? 
Mm -hmm. When? What? Where? Why? Where? Exactly. What else? What kind? What Which? kind? Which? Okay. Who? Uh huh. Exactly. Whom? Creo. I think. Okay. Whom? Yes. Whom? Whom is the S? Remember is which format. teacher? Repeat. Which? Oh, which? Exactly. Which? Yes. Yes. What else? Okay. Yes. We have what, where, when, what time, what kind of, etc. Let me show, let me show the questions to you. Take a look. Uh, this one's here. Here, here. Do you know the information questions? I have the list here. What? What time, what kind of, where, when, which, who with, who's, and why. Let's review them. Number one, can you tell me what was, what, what is? What is what? Of in, course, in Spanish? Spanish? Yes, in Spanish. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, yes, exactly. What about what time? What time? Que horas? Okay. In Spanish me, is a que horas. A que horas, exactly. What kind of? Que tipo de? Exactly. Where? Donde? Donde, teacher. Donde. Yes, exactly. We got when. What is when? Cuando. All right. What about which? Cual. Cuales or cual. With? Qua, exactly, cual, cuales. Who or with? Who with, sorry. Eh, quien. Quien o con quien. Con quien. Okay, who is quien, con quien is with, who with. Whose? Quienes. Quien. No. Quienes? No. Whose? Ese, ese también es who. Who puede ser quien o quienes. Oh. Y whose? Whose? Es para, es para posesión, para expresar o preguntar sobre posesión. Significa de quién. Oh. Okay. Por ejemplo, cuando preguntamos de quién es el carro rojo, ¿cómo diríamos eso, eso en inglés? ¿De quién es el carro rojo? Who is the, who is the, the, the red car? The red car. Who's, but the pronunciation, the pronunciation is who's. Or who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Okay. Dijeron que era who, whose car? Que dijeron? Repeat it, please. Who is the, the red car? Okay. Ahí dijo, usted dijo ahí, ¿quién es el carro rojo? Who is? ¿Quién no. es? No, whose. Whose. Ah, okay. It. Uh, whose. Whose. Uh, it's, it's a red car. Okay. Más o menos así. Si ustedes ven, hay tres preguntas que tienen un, 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 un pequeño guión o una línea. Ok, yes. Those questions are what, sorry, what kind of, which, and whose. Why do they have that line next to them? It's because we use a noun. Usamos acá un objeto. What kind of car? ¿Qué tipo de carro? Which car? ¿Cuál carro? Whose car? ¿El carro de quién? Yes? That is the correct structure. What kind of car? ¿Qué tipo de carro? Which car? ¿Cuál carro? Whose car? ¿De quién es el carro? Okay. Lo correcto es decir whose red car. Así como lo envié en el chat. Whose red car is in the front yard. Okay. ¿De quién es el carro rojo que está en el jardín frontal o en, enfrente? Yes. Aquí sería whose car, whose cell phone, whose sister, whose house, etc. Yes. Okay. Questions. Questions about the questions. Preguntas sobre las preguntas. No. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue with the second the second part. 
questions with how. We got how, how often or how often, how long, how many, how much, how many times, how far, how fast, and how well. People, what is how? The word how at the beginning, the first one. How. Como. Okay, exactly. Como. That is how. All right. How often? Con qué frecuencia. Exactly. Con, con, con qué frecuencia, cuán frecuente, cuán a menudo, etc. How long? What about how long? Cuánto tiempo. Exactly. Tanto? But it's about time, exactly. ¿Qué tanto o cuánto tiempo? Okay, ese how long es para, es para tiempo. Like for, for hours, for minutes, for weeks, for days, for months, etc. But it's about time. Uh, we got how many and how much, how many, cuántos, how much, cuánto, o oh, cuánta. Yes, how many times, what is how many times, people? Cuántas veces. Exactly, cuántas veces. How far? Tan lejos. Qué tan lejos o cuánta distancia. Yes, two different definitions. ¿Qué tan lejos o cuánta distancia? Yes. How fast significa qué tan rápido. And the last one, how well, qué tan bien o cuán bien. Yes. Also, people, we can use how. Se puede usar how. Voy a poner acá abajo how plus. También se puede usar ese how, el how con adjetivos o how con adverbios para formar más preguntas. De hecho, tenemos ya acá unos ejemplos. How often, often es un adverbio. Tenemos acá este far, tenemos fast y well. Fast es un adjetivo o un adverbio, well es un adverbio y far es un adjetivo. Ok, ¿qué tan lejos? Podemos usar otros adjetivos, sí. Por ejemplo, how beautiful. ¿Qué tan hermoso? Did she sing? ¿Qué tan hermoso cantó ella? How beautiful did she sing? O puede ser lo opuesto. How ugly. ¿Qué tan feo? How ugly did she sing? Ok. But that's for... That's a lesson for another day. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's continue. Let's take a look at the questions. WH questions. It's basically the same structure that we took a look at yesterday. Es la misma estructura que vimos el día de ayer. O la que practicamos. Déjale un momento. Voy a, voy a, no voy a estar un momento, porfa. Es okay. que la niña se me ha puesto mal. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, yes. I was telling you that we're, we're going to use or continue using, continue working on the same structure. Look, did she dance? Did she dance at school? Did she dance at school? Esa es una pregunta de sí y no. Yes, she did. No, she did not. How do you make a WH question? Well, you simply add or include the WH word at the beginning of the sentence. And it would go like this, like this. Why did she dance at school? The, just no question, did she dance at school? WH question or information question, why did she dance at school? Observen, acá está. Si quitamos el D, nos quedamos con una oración afirmativa, solo pondríamos el verbo en pasado. Ponemos el D al principio, se pregunta, y ponemos Y al principio para hacer la pregunta de información. The information question. Yes. All right. Another example here. Look at it. Yes, no question. Did they go to college? Fueron ellos a la universidad. Did they go to college? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Information question. 
who did they go to college with? Aquí dice, aquí es college, se dice college, sorry. No sé cómo se dice ese puso eso ahí. Hold on. Now, how do you do this? Me da un poquito de, de engañar a ver ese error ahí. Espera, <ríe> me lo voy a cambiar. Okay. So, I was telling you who did they go to college with? ¿Con quién? ¿Con quién fueron ellos a, a la universidad? ¿Con quién fueron ellos a la universidad? Who did they go to college with? Look, WH and how. These two. WH, what, where, where, why, and how, how often, how many, how many times. Why did I? Why did you? Where did you? Which did she? Did he? Did it? Did you? Did we? And did they? I have some verbs here. Listen, walk, feel, sing, run, sleep, wear, lie, and argue. And I have some examples where you can see the WH question. Then you can see the auxiliary did that are or that have been highlight highlighted. Why did Kyle go to Alegría? ¿Por qué fue Kyle a Alegría? Why did Kyle go to Alegría? Where did Mario buy his new cell phone? Where did Mario buy his new cell phone? What time did the boss have the meeting? And how many reports did Jennifer write? And whose laptop did Ulysses use people do you have any questions about this not teacher in my case no okay anybody else no no questions okay very good let me see this part let's go back we're gonna practice let me see we're gonna practice questions with this with this ones only pregunta solamente con esta parte que está acá de what or the wh lo que sigue es how esta parte we're gonna we're gonna work on this one later let's begin with what what time what kind of work when which who who's and why let me ask a uh, few people. Let me start with you, Brian. Hi. Okay, he's not there. Let me try with you, Jorge. George. Hello. Teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me Hello? ask you a question, Jorge. Ready? Yes. Okay. yes. The, the question, the question is, where did you go last summer? Where did you go last summer? Okay, last summer, I went um, to the beach in Sonsonate. Okay. All with right. my yes. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, Jorge, for your participation. Ana, hello. Hello. The question for you is, when did you buy your TV? When did you buy your TV? Um, I buy... The past my... form is bought. I bought my TV in the Curacao. <laughs> no, no. When? Uh, when, when? 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 When is? Cuando? Cuando? Ah. Yes. 
I bought in my TV four years ago. Okay, I bought my TV four years ago. All right, long time ago, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Excellent. Let me ask one more person and then you will continue with the participation. That last person is Melanie. Melanie? Yes, teacher. Where, excuse me. Where did you study high school? Where did you study high school? In my house. <laughs> In my uh -huh. house. Oh, uh -huh. college. You have to you have to mention you have to mention the high school. Where high school. where did you study high school? Well. Where where? Donde estudié teacher. Exactly. In Central de Señoritas, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? But I studied. I study in. In Spanish, it's okay. it's okay in Spanish. Yo estudié en el Central de Señoritas. No, no, but but I studied. Y luego el nombre del lugar. I study in Central de Señoritas. Okay, high school. Yes. In high school, yes. Okay. Melanie, continue, please. Ask a person, no, ask Edith. Ask Edith any question using what, where, why, or, well, you should choose one, choose one of them and ask Edith a question. De cual, cualquier tissue? Yes. A Edith. Yes. Una fácil le voy a preguntar. <laughs> What's your name? No, no, no. Complete. What is your name? Dice. No, no, no. Estamos trabajando con el did. Estamos con pasado. Remember, tiempo past. What um, did? Que, que, como que hizo. What que, did? Que did. What did? What did name? No, no. You need the verb. What did you? Y luego un verbo. Mm. Puede ser cualquiera, how? Yes, yes. How, how did you... Play? Did you play in the park? Repeat it, please. How did yes. You... Yes, I play in the park. No, wait, wait, it is. Repeat it, Melanie. How did you play in the park? Mejor use, mejor use, use what time? Que how está aquí en otra parte? What time use mejor? What time? Huh? Did no, you play did you... in the uh -huh. park? Okay, what time did you play in the park? Edith? I play... Mm, in... In one hour? No, no. I played in the park. What time? Okay, I played in the park. I play in the park in mm -hmm. for at at for at four p.m. I four p.m. at four p.m. At significa a, a las a las cuatro p.m. Okay, at four p.m. 
Yes. And if, yes, and if continue, please ask Sandra. Sandra. Yes. Uh, what did you drink? What did you drink? Mm -hmm. What did you drink? Last night. Okay, last night. A cup of coffee. <laughs> Cup of coffee. <laughs> Always I do. Cup of coffee. Okay. Answer the question. Answer the question. I. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. Can you repeat, please? Sorry. Can you repeat the answer? I did cup of coffee. I did. What is the the verb is not did? Ah. Um. We lost it, se perdió. What happened to her? <laughs> we don't know. She went for a cup of coffee. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You are right. Thank you. Thank you, Ismael. You continue, Ismael. <laughs> okay. Um... Ask ask uh, Carlos Alberto. Carlos. Ah, okay, okay. Hey. Carlos. Um, Tell me. Where did you go last weekend? I went to the Copan Ruins last weekend. Copan Ruins. Ruinas. Ruinas. Ruins. 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 Yes. Ruins. Yes. That's okay. Yes. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos, continue with Carlos. Carlos Eliezer. Ask him. Okay. Okay. Um, Carlos, what kind? And uh, what, what kind of clothes did you wear in the party yesterday? Sorry, teacher. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> I I drink coffee, teacher. <laughs> Cup of coffee. Okay, I drank. 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 Mm. Wait, Carlos Eliezer, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Carlos, uh, can you repeat, please? Okay, okay. What kind? What kind of clothes did you wear in the party yesterday? What kind of of clothes? What kind of clothes? clothes? No, what clothes. kind of what kind of clothes? Of clothes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't get it, the, the question, teacher. The question, the question is what kind of clothes, que tipo de clothes, what kind of clothes did you wear at the party yesterday? Oh, okay. The shirt type, uh, polo. No, you have to mention the verb in the past form. I, y luego el verbo en pasado. Uh, I did work. No, did not. I went. No, the question, uh, the question, the, the verb, the verb is wear. What kind, what kind of clothes did you wear in the party yesterday? I, I don't get it, teacher. Sorry. ¿Qué tipo de ropa vistió en la fiesta ayer? Yes, that's the question. Um. <laughs> I think it's because I think it's because you don't remember the past form. People, the past form of where? Hello. You are 
It's war. 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 I think exactly in the chat. War. War. Um, I wore a uh, teacher type uh, polo. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay, let me stop here. Uh, people, we, we have limited time. Let's continue. Let's move on. I have something to show you. Here, let me stop this. Is it this one or this one? I think it's this one. Okay, I'm going to show you some examples. Uh, in these examples, you have to tell me what the error or what the mistake is. The sentence is not, uh, it's not fully correct or grammatically correct. Look, error correction, simple past tense. These sentences are not written correctly. Find the mistake and rewrite each sentence correctly. Let's not do that. Let's go and uh, start talking about this. Number one, it says, did you have a good day? Can you tell me the correct one? Or can you tell me the mistake and can you correct it? In the verb, it is the mistake is the verb. Okay, the mistake is the verb. Can you tell me the correction? Did you have a good day today? Good day today. Thank you, everyone. Excellent. Yes. Did you have, have, okay. Did you have a good day today? Exactly. The second one, it says, I doesn't have a good day. What? It just destroy, destroys my brain. I doesn't have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. The what is the correct, is, what uh, the correct one? Brilliant. Ah, okay. I didn't have a good day. Exactly, Jorge. Exactly. I didn't have. Doesn't go. Doesn't go there. Okay. We don't use doesn't and we don't use had. It didn't. I didn't. Sorry. I didn't have a good day. Number three. I didn't remembered my homework. What is I the mistake? I didn't. Uh, the, the verb. I didn't. I I didn't remember my homework. Okay, yes, I didn't remember yeah. my homework with no remember with no ED. All right. Number four, my teacher didn't want it to hear any excuses. What's the mistake and what's the correction? Mistake is the verb want. Okay, the mistake is the verb wanted. All right. What is the correction? My teacher didn't want to hear any excuses. Okay, my teacher didn't want to hear. Want, all right, want yeah. to hear any excuses. Any Number excuses. five, she said we doesn't have time for that. She said we doesn't have time for that. What is the mistake or what are the mistakes and what is the correction? She say we didn't have time for that. Yes, she said we didn't have time for that. The because pronunciation is, I'm sorry, Jorge. Because it's but, it is but, she said, Ella dijo. Exactly, exactly. Yes. The pronunciation is como en español, como tengo said. 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 Yes, let me show said. you. Es un verbo que confunde un montón. Uh, base form say. All right. ING, say. Past form, said. Said. With S, says. Huh? Says. Says, okay. Y el otro que pasaba participio es el mismo set. And those are the conjugations of the verb say. Say, saying, said, says. Okay, no digan say, say, said. All right. Six. Teacher, it's new for me. <laughs> really? Why? Why? 
Why? What happened? I always say say. <laughs> ah, yes. Let me repeat them. Acá, en, en su forma base sí es say, say. Over here, say, say. No es saying, saying. Es saying. Una I desaparece. Solo hay una I. Saying, saying. Said, said. No said, said. Said and with S, says. Says. Okay. Number six. She sent me home to get my homework. She sent me home to get my homework. What is the mistake and what is the correction, people? The, uh, I think it's a verb. It's okay, a... the verb is the mistake. And what is the yes. correction? It's he sent. She sent me home to get my homework. Okay, she sent me home to get my homework. Sent. S E N T. T. It's a it's an irregular. Sent. It's an irregular verb. Right. Like this. Sent. Number seven. It were still morning. It works till morning. So the bus doesn't came to get me. People, number seven, uh, it's, it's twisted. <laughs> tell me the, the, the mistake and tell me the correction. It was still morning. Mm -hmm. So the bus didn't, didn't came to get me. It was still morning. So the, no entiendo. Como estaba un de mañana y el bus no vino a, a traerme. What? Okay. I don't know, but it tiene sentido toda la oración. Okay. It was, it was still morning. Yes. It was still morning, so the bus didn't come to get me. Right? Yes. The mistake is were, the, the verb be were, and doesn't, and the verb in the past form. Number eight, I had to walk. I had to walk all day, uh, all the way home by myself. What is the mistake? I have to walk all way home by myself. What is the mistake and what is the correction? Ivo, hello. The verb walked. Okay, the verb walked is should not be in the past form. It should not be in the past form. Has is the past form. After the preposition to, 99%, listen to this, 99% of the times, the verb goes in the base form. After the preposition to, okay? There are like three or four two or three exceptions in which we use the ing, but that's a different situation, different class, <laughs> all right? But 99% of times after the preposition to, we need the base form of the verb, yes. So walked, it will be walk, no ed. Number nine, then it start to rain. Then it start, start to rain. What is the mistake and what is the correction? Yes, today. Okay, to rain, to rain is the mistake. Remember, after the preposition to, we need the base form, rain. This verb, the verb start, should be in the past form. For example, then it started, started to rain. Entonces comenzó a llover. I didn't have an umbrella. This one is easy, have is the mistake. And no. the last mm -hmm. one, I started to cry. Can you tell me the correction of the last one? In the last, I started crying. Okay, I started, started, yes, started to cry. I started to cry. Started en pasado y cry en su forma base. All right, let me stop sharing. Thank you, people, for your participation on that activity.
Let's continue and I'm going to show you the next activity here. The next activity it is, is right here. Okay, how to use simple past information questions. Question, what did you buy? ¿Qué compraste? What did you buy? I bought a vacation package. Aquí dice short answers, they're not short answers. Oh. Answers, short no. Okay, compré un paquete de vacación o vacacional. Where did he fly to? Hacia donde voló. Where did he fly to? He flew to another country. Flew, voló. Fly is an irregular verb. The past form is flu. When did we pay for the service? Pay is another irregular verb. Paid is the past form. We paid for the service last month. How did they find out of that promotion? They found out about it on internet, on the internet. Find out significa descubrir. Okay, darse cuenta. Yes. Okay, ¿cómo se dieron cuenta de esa promoción? O ¿cómo supieron de esa promoción? Like, find out también es averiguar. ¿Cómo averiguaron de esa promoción? All right. Part number six, sorry, five. Complete the email using prepositions of time. Compare answers with the class. Okay, let's not uh, read the indication because the indication is wrong. What, what we're gonna do here is complete the questions with any verb we want. If you see here, number one, from number one to number six, we have the question, we have the auxiliary, and we have the person. We don't have the verb and we don't have the, the complement. So we're going to include the complement, excuse me. We're going to include the verb and the complement, okay? People, let's begin. Let's work on this. Only the questions, only the questions. We're going to answer them, yes. We're going to answer them, but not right now. Let's go. I'm going to give you from three to four minutes to complete the questions. Again, you can use any verb, whichever verb you want.
Guys, are you ready? Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay. Ismael is ready. Thank you, Ismael. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin, shall we? Uh, I know the answers are going to uh, well, will vary, you know, because this one is, you can write whatever verb you want, whatever complement you want. So we're gonna have different answers. Let me see. Uh, Melanie, share your first question or question number one. Melanie? Yes, teacher. Please share your first question. How, what did you in vacation? What did you, uh huh? In vacation? What, what is the verb? What is the verb? Mm. Travel. Okay. Mm, ¿Qué viajaste? No. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, what did What did you mm -hmm. What did you um, Es que no recuerdo, teacher. I no remember You can use whatever, whatever, where you want. What did you eat in the morning? What did you take in the morning? What did you cook? Yes. What did you buy? What, what did, did you, you sell? What did you cook in vacation? On vacations. What on vacation. did you cook? Okay. On what vacation. did you cook on vacation? Sandra, the same question, Sandra. Question number one. What did you do in this exam? Okay, what did you do on this exam? Yes. Okay, thank you, Sandra, for sharing. Brian, share the second question. Okay. How did you win in this video game? Okay, how did you win in this video game? <laughs> All right. Still, I am good. All right. Let me see. I am uh, good. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, Diana, Jamilet, the second question, Diana. The second one. How do you be, um, get it to start the car? Repeat, please. How did you? How did you? Uh huh. Get it. To start the car. No, let's go to how did you? How did you do? How did how did you do? Get it to start the car. How did you do to start the car? How did you do to start the car? Because that 
that will sound correct. How did you do to start the car? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you, Diana. Excellent. Jancy? Jancy, can you share number three? Why did you? Jancy is sleeping. Okay, Jancy is not available. Let me continue with somebody else. Edith? Question number three, why did you? Este, <clears throat> why, why did, why did not, not you go to the party? Why, why did you? Es la número no, tres. Sí, why did you? Why? Why did you, did, didn't you go to the party? No, no. Falta el verbo y el complemento acá. Why did you? El verbo y el complemento. Did you go to the party? Okay, there you go. Repeat it. Why did you go to the party? Okay, why did you go to the party? Yes. Why did you go to the party? Ana Victoria, share the same question, Ana. Uh, why did you eat pizza three times in the week? Why did you eat pizza three times? Because it is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes. For no cooking. Oh, for no cooking. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Mayra, share the four, question number four. Where did you? Where did you go on Sunday? Where did you go on Sunday? Yes, where did you go on Sunday? Thank you, Ismael. The same question, Ismael. Sorry, teacher, where's the question? The same, number four. Where number did four. you go? Okay. Where did you? Where did you buy those shoes? Okay, where did you buy those, sh those shoes? Carlos Eliezer, the same, number four, Carlos. Um, where do you go after the work? After work. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, where do you go after work? Thank you. Let me see, Jorge, the last one, Jorge. Who did you? Who did you give this report? Who did you give this report? Report, yes. Yes, continue. Huh? <laughs> the answer too. No, no, okay. Let me tell you something here. Con la pregunta who, tendremos uh -huh. una, unas cuantos problemas porque la, la pregunta who en muchas ocasiones requiere una preposición. Por ejemplo, tenemos who with, con quién. Who, to, a quién. Who, about, sobre quién. ¿Sí? Ok. En este caso sería, a quién le envié. Who did you send? Uh, repeat it, please. I'm sorry. Give me. Yeah, oh. give you. Repeat it. Who did you give this report? Ok. Who did you give this report to? Two, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, Two, él quería preguntar quién, quién le entregó este reporte. Oh, entonces ahí ese caso sería, who gave you? Ah, no did. Ah, en ese caso ya es una pregunta de, pregunta, ¿cómo se llaman las preguntas? Uh, uh, subject oh. questions. Preguntas, preguntas sin un sujeto. Who gave you this report? No aplicamos el pasado en esa pregunta que está ahí. Teacher. Yes. I have a question about okay. this example. Mm -hmm. You said, who did you mm -hmm. gave? No, Mi pregunta era... Give? Ah, ok, ok. Justamente yes. eso le iba a preguntar por el, eh, porque pasó el verbo pasado, pero ya estaba el did y yo me quedé con esa duda. Esa mm -hmm. era mi duda. Oh, ok, es, okay. Who did no, no, you who, give? Who did you give? Yes, exactly. exactly. Yes. Exacto, perfecto. Ah, pues yo escuché mal, lo siento. Yes. You have to, you have to, uh, si, si quieres decir a quién, tiene que decir who to. Okay. Con quién, who with. 
¿ok? Acerca de quién o about. Depending, depending on the verbs. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, we're going to continue with the number... We don't have a lot of time. Wait. We don't have a lot of time left. Okay, uh, we're going to continue with this activity. We're not going to do number six. Number six will be done on Monday. On Monday, we will have a review, a unit review. So we're going to do part number six on Monday. Yes. But we're going to continue working right here. Look, I have another uh, activity with more exercises. Yes. Okay, look, we got, uh, well, it's letter A and B, a conversation. Number one, we have three options or three choices to, to answer the question or to complete the item or the question, the, uh, the first question. So what is the answer? It says there, you, a student, were, was, did, did, or was and was. What, what, what do you think? People? Acá estamos con yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. It's like a review of yes, no questions. What is the correct answer? A, B, or C? Yes. Uh... Yes, I was. No, no. The first one? The first one? Or yes, I will. ¿Cuál es, la, ¿Cuál es la respuesta? A, B, or C? B. B. Letter? Letter E. Letter E. Letter E. Letter C. Letter. Okay. Letter E. Letter, letter E. Was. <laughs> where was? Was. <laughs> Okay. Or C. Letter A. <laughs> Letter A. Vamos a ver. Let's, let's take a look. We got letter A, letter B, letters. Letter B is not possible because we use did with verbs. We don't have a verb in the question, so did is where, not possible. Where it was. Okay. Correct. Letter C. Letter C, we got was, but we cannot use was with you. Right? Yes, we can use was in the answer. Yes, I was. Okay, so in this case will be letter A. Were you? Fuiste tú. Were you a student? Fuiste tú un alumno o fuiste tú un estudiante? Yes, I was. Sí, sí lo fui. All right. Excellent. Question or exercise number two. Did, did your brothers travel last year? Examples. Weren't, didn't, don't. No, they... They didn't. Okay, Where no, two. they didn't. That's number two. Letter B is the yeah. answer. Didn't, exactly. Number three, space. Your friend busy last week? Yes, he, he space. Letter A, was, was. Letter B, did and was. And letter C, is and was. Yes, he was. Letter C, he was. Letter C, are you sure? Is your girlfriend busy last week? No, no, no. Ah, no. Yes, she, yes. He. Okay. The correct answer, people, is? A. Okay, letter A. Was your friend busy last week? Busy ocupado. Yes. The pronunciation is B, busy. It's not busy, it's not busy, it's busy. Okay. Como, yes. bicicleta, como bicicleta, Tisha. Bici. <laughs> como bici. Como la bici. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. Was, más, más o menos así. Yes. <laughs> All right. Number four. Did it snow last summer? Did it? Did it? Right. Did it? 
Did it snow last summer? No, it not, wasn't, didn't. For me, it's letter C, didn't. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, it is letter C. No, it didn't. Okay, mm -hmm. nevó el pasado, el pasado verano? No, no fue así. Number five, was it cold last week? Yes, it space did or was. What do you think? Letter C then. Letter C. Was it cold last last week? Yes, it was. All right. Very good. Very good. Number six. Toma una foto de las palabras. I'm sorry. Okay. I had to sneeze. Number six. It says in number six, space, you know the answer. No, I did, don't, did, didn't, and were or wasn't. Which one is the answer? A, B, or C? Letter B. Letter B. All right. Did you know the answer? No, I didn't. Did yes. It's letter B. Thank you. Number seven, it says, Thomas here this morning. Yes, he did, was, 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 were, and were. Letter A, B, or C? A. What? Letter, letter A? A. Letter A. A. It. Letter A. No. Why? Why, people? Tell me why. Tell me why ain't nothing but a hug. No? The correct one here is letter B. Was and was. Because was. we don't have a verb. My verbo acá. My verbo. This is location. Was Thomas. Estuvo Thomas aquí esta mañana? Was Thomas here this morning? Yes, he was. Letter B. All right. Number eight. Did you space breakfast? Yes, uh, I did. Eat, eating or ate? Eat, eating. Eight. Letter A. Why are you sure? Dijo letter A, verdad? Letter C. Letter A. He said letter C. No, the no, answer, no, letter, letter A. The answer is letter A, all right? Yes, yes. Did you eat? Did you eat breakfast? Okay. But you, you say uh, how breakfast is the most usual. How? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But we, we can say, we can say, did you eat breakfast? But uh, we commonly, we commonly ask, did you have breakfast? Yes. Okay. okay. I mean, both both are correct, but we commonly use, did you have breakfast? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Number, let me see. There's another one here. Ten. Nine. Number nine says, space you, space TV. Yes, I did. Was, watch, did, watched, and did, and watch. A, B, or C? Letter C. Letter C is correct. Did you watch TV? Yes, I did. Number 10. It says, space, they, your books. They, your books. Yes, they, space. Are, were, 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 and did, did. Letter what about C. this one? What about this Letter one? C. Letter C. Are you sure? Did they do both? Yes, they. Yes, they. It's not. It's not Letter there. B. No. Letter B. Exactly. Letter B. There is no verb. Oh, there is no verb. Right, like verbal. We're talking Damn about something different here. Word. Were, were they, were they your books? Eran, were eran, they? eran ellos, es que 
Usamos el they, usamos el they también para objetos plurales. Okay. Comúnmente se sabe que se usa el it, el it para animales y objetos. El it. Okay. Pero también se usa el they para lo mismo, animales y objetos en plural. It es singular, they plural. So we have books here, libros. Sería were, were they your books? Okay. Yes, they were. Letter B. Yes. Remember, with simple past, with did, we did, we need to use the verb. Okay, observa acá número dos, did, travel is the verb. Number 11. Did you like the movie? Yes, I did, did. don't, or wasn't. Was, sorry. Did, did. Okay, yes, yes I, did. I, exactly. Yes, I did. Thank you. Number 12, space, you late, no, I, space, was, weren't, did, wasn't, were, wasn't. What is the answer? Guys? Letter A, was and weren't. Are you sure? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Letter... Remember, was, was with you? With you, what? was with you? Was you, no, where? Uh -huh. Were you late? Uh -huh. No, I so, don't. So, the answer where is... Where was it? Letter C. No, I Letter, was Letter C. Were you, were you late? Okay. Were you late? No, I wasn't. Were you late? No, I wasn't. All right? Yes. It's not correct. No, I weren't. Uh, yeah, it's incorrect. It's incorrect. De hecho, sí se puede usar el weren't con I. I were. No, pero el were, el presente. El, el, sí, sí, afirmativo. I were. It were. She were. And, it, and he were. Pero en un caso muy, muy distinto. En gramática. Ya, yeah. punto más. Where, where, cómo, cómo, so, porque aquí en esta número 12 es, eh, estás retrasado, estás, o oh, estás retrasado, o, o mm -hmm. vas tarde. Sí, Pero sería, el anterior, como, sería como llegas, llegaste tarde. Y, y en la de los libros, eh, decías, estos son tus libros, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Son ellos. O fue, más, más bien, eran ellos, eran ellos tus libros. Eran ellos tu libro. Uh -huh. Pero en vez, de decir, en vez de decir ellos, que suena un poco feo, podemos decir eran esos. Sí. Para, para hacerlo mucho más entendible. Y en este caso, where es... Eh, esos eran tus libros. Siempre, sí. I'm sorry. Where es del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Sí, los dos. Was and were. Was and were. So, okay. parte del B, yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes. All right. Number 13. Space. We all passed the test. Yes, you did, did, are, are, were, and uh, were. Y vos estaba llorando. What is the answer here? A, B, or C? Guys, A, B, or C. Number 13. Okay, letter A. Did we, did we all pass the exam? Pasamos todos el examen? Yes, you did. Sí, sí lo lograron. Sí, sí lo hicieron. Number 14. There are two more people. Dos más. No, three. Sorry, three more. All right, 14. Were they here at 10 a.m.? No, they, space, weren't, didn't, or not? Weren't. Okay, weren't, exactly. Yes, they, yes, they weren't. All right. Number 15. Was yesterday Monday? Space, it, space. No, wasn't, no, didn't, yes, were. Letter 
A. No, wasn't. Okay, letter A. No, no it wasn't. wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, and the last one. Space, these questions easy? Yes, they. Letter A did the letter B were and were, and letter C was and was. What is the correct one, people? Letter B. Letter B. Yes. Letter B is correct. Were these questions easy? Fueron estas preguntas fáciles? Yes, they were. Okay. Fantastic, people. Fantastic, fantastic. Look, and uh, you should self-evaluate. Self-evaluate with this part over here. Look, if you have from uh, 15 to 16 uh, correct ones, it's excellent. If you have from 13 to 14, that's good. From 12 or less, you need to study, study more. All right? But people, you did a very good job. So you are in the right way. You are in the right way. Do you have any questions, people? Do you have any questions? It's no, clear for me, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Remember, you have to continue working on the platform. Yes, on the platform. If you have problems with the platform, you have to try, you have to try different ways. Okay. Like I said, sometimes there's a an extra space, there's a missing period. There is a missing, uh, or oh, oh, we, we haven't uh, capitalized the letters. Uh, sure. so, yes. Sorry, uh, what do you uh, what do you refer about the period? For example, uh, yesterday. Ah. El punto al final. Uh, yes. Sin interrogación, pues. El punto o sea, sin espacio, el guión, uh, el apóstrofo, todo eso, todo eso, este, afecta okay. a la plataforma. Yes. A veces, a veces okay. con punto, a veces sin punto, a veces con, con mayúscula, a veces con minúscula. Es, es, yeah, it's fine. All right. Let me tell you, let me tell you who is staying today. Les diré quién se queda este día, quién le corresponde. Let me see. We don't have, and that person is not here today. Hello, Edith. Edith, hello. Hi. Yes, it is hello. your turn. Es su turno de quedarse después de clase. Please. Uh, teacher, no puedo. Really? Hello. Hoy no puedo, teacher. Okay. Tengo que estar Okay, no problem, no problem. Let me continue with the next person. The next person is not here either. Yes, she's not here. Sandra, did you stay? I don't remember. Hi, Oh, Sara. Sara, hello. Okay. 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 Let me take attendance, people. And uh, well, here we go. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Brian David Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Orrego. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I'm here, teacher. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Thank you. Present. Yes. Me Diana... mentioned, teacher. Who? Carlos. Fucking. No, Brian. Oh, yes, yes, Brian. <laughs> oh, sorry. Creo que eh, me estaba pasando el Wi-Fi por eso, pero I'm It's here. Okay. Yes, I know, I know. Don't worry. Okay. Diana Yamilet, Maravilla. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Adilia Hernandez. Present. Ismael Ernesto Boya. Thank you. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Good night. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Sandra Ives Mendoza. Sara Raquel Salazar. I'm here. And Jancy huh? Andrea Solorzano. Okay, people, thank you very much for being here today. It has been a pleasure. It has been a very short week. For me, the week was like, was very fast. Okay, people, I will see you on Monday. Take care. Have a good weekend. Descansen. Pásenla bien. Salgan con su familia. Disfruten. Okay, y bueno, que descansen mucho. Okay, nos vemos el día good lunes. Night. Yes. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Descansen. Bye bye. bye. Have a nice weekend, people. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Nice thank weekend. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Sandra, hello. What? There you go. Hi, everyone. To continue with the practice, I'm going to assign a task, some homework to you guys. And that is. Um, Change the following verbs into the past form. I'm going to give you a list of verbs. What you're meant to do is write the past form or at least just mention or say uh, the past form, right? The list of verbs is this one. Let me change the color. Okay, list. Play, sleep, check, go, right? Type, yes. Uh, let me see, try. Let me try with the verb fly. Uh, wear, argue, talk, walk, read. Bear, fix, uh, lift, mention another one, dive, ride, paint. Uh, drop. All right. Stop. Yes. The first, the first activity that you have to do is this one. I need you guys to work a past form of the following verbs. For example, we got list. The past form is listed. And uh, the past form of the verb play is played. And I want you guys to continue giving me the past form of every verb you see right here. The second part that you're going to do is the following. I want you guys to give me or provide 
three examples, excuse me, four examples in the past form. Okay, one affirmative, one negative, one yes, no question, and one W W H question. That's what you're going to do as the second activity. But let me give you examples. In that way, you know, you can come up with yours, with your own. Uh, how much I lifted a heavy bag. That's the affirmative example. I lifted a heavy bag. I didn't stop to buy. Okay. I didn't stop to buy. Yes, no question. Did she argue with her parents? Okay, and one more example. Where did they repair the blender? Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. I want you guys to give me the past form of every verb from there on the list I, I just gave you. And I want you guys to give me four examples. Uh, one example, uh, well, one example in the affirmative form, one example in the negative form, one example uh, as a yes no question, and one example using WH questions in the simple past form. That's the activity, guys. Uh, well, that's it. Remember, practice makes perfection. If you guys continue practicing, your English will be perfect. All right. Thank you guys for being here today. I will see you next time and take care. Goodbye.